In this video, you're going to learn how to read a vernier caliper. And by now, you should know that the precision of the vernier caliper is 0.01 cm. And it will be good and it will help you to remember that this is 2 decimal place cm. Now, you should know that this part of the vernier caliper is known as the main scale. In short, I call it MS. And, the, and this part here, the precision is 0.1 cm and it's exactly the same as your ruler in your pencil case. And for this part, this is called the vernier scale and in short, let's call it VS. And it's precisely these vernier scales that make this instrument more precise. The smallest deviation is 0.01 cm that gives it a precision for the vernier caliper to be 0.01 cm. Now let's go through some examples and hopefully after this you will know how to read a vernier caliper. Now for the first question here, all these are the main scale and you will read the main scale all the way until just before the zero of the vernier scale starts. So this one, then you follow by it, you look at this, this at this point here, this is the last main scale just before the zero of the vernier scale starts. So that will be my main scale and this will be 0 0.2 because this is 1 cm so each one is 0 0.1 so here is 0 0.2 cm. And once we set the main scale, we look for the vernier scale. Now the vernier scale, you look at the marking of the vernier scale which is in line with the main scale. If you look closely here, for example, these two are not in line, they are not in line, they are not in line, and the best one will be this. So that will be the fourth division for the vernier scale. Alright, so if, so how do you write the vernier scale? Do you write 4, 0 0.4 or 0 0.04? Now remember the precision of the vernier caliper is 0.01 cm and I say remember it's two decimal place so whenever so the fourth division is in line so I should be writing 0.04 to give it the two decimal place so the final reading will be 0.24 cm now let's take a look at the one on the right here the main scale okay so you will read all the way until this point here this is the last main scale reading just before the zero of the vernier scale starts. So the main scale will be, in this case, this half is zero, one, so here will be 0 0.5 cm, half a cm. And then next we go to the vernier scale. Likewise, we look at the one that is in line and it seems like this one, once again, is the fourth division. So I'll be putting there 0 0.04 cm. So the final reading for this will be 0 0.54 cm. So take note the units is important, always write the units. Now maybe I should also highlight to you that the frame of the vernier scale over here, it is not important. You should not be looking at this part here. That's the common mistake. You will always be looking at the zero of the vernier scale. Okay? Next example. The main scale over here, because the zero of the vernier scale starts here, so the main scale, the last one will be here, and that will be 0 0.9 cm. So I write here 0 0.9 cm. Next, let's go to the vernier scale, and it's very clear that the eight division here is the one that's in line, so my vernier scale will be 0 0.08, two decimal place, remind yourself. So the final reading will be 0 0.98 cm. Um, by the way, this zero here, some vernier caliper, they put their tenth. Okay, so just be mindful of that. Next example here, the last main scale just before the zero of the vernier scale starts, it will be until here. So that will be 1, 1 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. So the main scale will be 1.3 cm and the vernier scale for this case um, it may not be clear but to your best judgment maybe the one the sixth division is the one that is in line so i'll write here 0 0.06 cm so it gives a final reading of 1.36 cm 
Next example here. Once again, the main scale and the last main scale before the zero will be here. So this is 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8. So the main scale will be 1.8 cm. And for the vernier scale, the one that is in line happens to be the fourth division. So I'll write 0 0.04, two decimal place, and it gives a final reading of 1.84 cm. Next, let's take a look at this. Now, this one is a bit special. If you look at this, the last mean scale, okay, the zero vernier scale, it starts here and it seems to be in line with the mean scale marking. If that's the case, you have to read this mean scale. In this case, this is 0 0.6. So the mean scale is 0 0.6 cm. Now, when that happens, if the zero of the vernier scale is in line with a marking here, in this case 0 0.6 cm, you will realize that the last division of the mean vernier scale, which is the 10th division here, it will also be aligned. And this means that the thing that you're going to measure over here is exactly 0 0.6. But you still need to take into account the vernier scale because this is a vernier caliper. And when such scenario happens, the vernier scale will be 0 0.00 cm. That's why the final reading will be 0 0.60 cm. Now, it is important that if you're using a vernier caliper, the precision is two decimal place. So you need to put the zero behind. Okay, you cannot just put 0 0.6 cm because if that's the case, uh, you are re actually referring to a ruler because the precision of a ruler is 0 0.1 cm. Okay, so you're using vernier caliper, even though it's 0 0.6, you still have to put the zero. Just be careful about that. Now, last two examples here. Let's take a look here. So once again, the zero and the mean scale is in line. So the mean scale for this case will be 1.1 cm. And that means to say the vernier scale will be exactly 0 0.00 cm. So this makes the object exactly 1.10 cm. And for the last example here, so mean scale is equals to, so the vernier starts here, so the mean scale will be 1.1 cm. And the vernier scale, in this case, the one that is in line will be, happens to be fourth division, so 0 0.04 cm. So it makes the final reading of 1.14 cm. So another thing that I want to mention is there are some questions where instead they put the mean scale in terms of mm. If that's the case, this will be reflected as 10 and this will be reflected as 20 mm. So if that's the case, okay, you can actually fall back and put back everything to cm and then do accordingly and convert back to mm later on. For example, if the options given to you, let's say it's an MCQ questions, the options given to you is all in mm. Once you do this as what you have been familiar with, you convert it back to mm. That means for 11.4 mm. So you can do it this way, even though they give the main skill in terms of millimeters. I hope this video will help you to understand and learn how to read the vernier calipers.